Authorized. Right, folks. Uh, first, we have taken those two Penelope screws out, as you see on the top left of the screen from the bottom. So do that first. We just didn't film that. Uh, we're going to take an eye sesame tool or something otherwise thin. We don't really believe in suction cups for opening this up. doesn't work as good. And uh, we're just going to get right underneath of that. But being very careful because there's the home flex cable that that touch sensor plugs into is right there. We don't want to freaking tear that thing. Um, one of the techniques we, we just use is just sort of to slide that up the side too as we can get a, it, it loose. And now we've got that screen pop. But we want to stop right there. We don't want to lift anymore because of that cable right there. We've got to get the cable out. So there's this small little metal piece right there. You see the technician with the tweezers messing with. And uh, we got to lift that metal piece up. It kind of just like pulls out of there. Uh, it's just securing the where the flex cable plugs into the uh, charge port of the board. We got that out of the way, and now we unplug that flex cable. Now we can lift the screen. Please pause that if you have to go back. I know we're doing it fast. Pause it and take your time. Okay, now we're on the uh, uh, the home button bracket, which we got to take off. There's a, a screw to the left, which we're going to take off. It's a small Phillips head screw. You gotta give it a little bit of pressure to make sure you can actually get some grip on the screw. Otherwise, it'll try to strip on you. And then, uh, and then we're going to take the screw all the way to the right with this small little kind of connector on it. There it is. We just lifted it up and fold it back that way. Now you can see that that screw to the right with the pointer finger of the technician is stayed on that wire. Now we're gonna unscrew the other bracket screw for the home button. Get that thing out of there. All right. Okay. Now, in order for us to, uh, we're going to take that shield off. Now we've exposed the home button area, the, the whole touch sensor, the entire thing, which we're going to swap out and put on a new one, essentially replace. We've got to heat this up a little bit. So that's a heat gun coming in here at about 200 degrees. Yeah, we're kind of close, but it's 200 degrees. It's not hot at all. It's like you're blowing your, your, your freaking hot air out of your breath on the thing. It's not hot. Um, but we got to give it enough heat so that we can, there's a little bit of adhesive underneath of that cable. We got to just kind of lift it because it's adhesive to the frame. We're going to get under here with a, a thin tool. Um, the eye sesame tool is really good for this stuff and see we just lifted it up a little bit it was adhesed now we got to get this home button out we're going to attempt to do it from the other side just sort of push our fingers in because it's adhesed as well but as you see we're running into a little bit of a problem it's not quite giving yet so I think we got to give it just a little more heat uh, yes we are sort of directly over it but again we are on human breath temperature it's like you know well a little maybe a little more um, but it's 200 degrees it's not a lot we're giving it a little bit of heat we're not melting anything we're okay Okay, and now we can come from the other side and uh, push that thing right the heck out of there. Okay, so that's it. We're just going to pull this button out, and that's the entire assembly right there, the touch sensor and home assembly uh, removed from uh, you know one of your devices here. Okay, now we got the new device that we're going to put it on, or the same device, and uh, it's really simple. We're basically just going to align this thing up. We're going to make sure that it sits okay. It's kind of tricky to, to get it uh, to be aligned 100% in the beginning. So you'll see we kind of fuss with it to get it there. We think it's aligned here. And we're like, oh, yeah, it's aligned. And then we look at it and we're like, you know, that's not, it's not straight. So we got to, you know, take it out of there and then uh, and realign it. All right. So now we're just kind of trying to move it, moving, trying to move it around to get it to a, a position that actually works uh, and that we're happy with, uh, and we are still not happy with it. So we're just going to shift it over a little bit, line it up, and then push it. And now we look like we're a lot happier with it than we were before. Okay. So now that we got this thing pretty aligned, we're going to go up close and show you uh, really just the rest of the assembly of this thing. You know, you got the home button in place, which is the touch sensor, the fingerprint sensor as well. Um, in place and uh, now we're going to start putting these screws back in but first let's put that shield back on uh, the little lip that little divot sort of thing points up that's how you know the direction um, that you have that thing is correct now uh, we can proceed with putting those screws in so we're going to you know really simply as you would imagine you we're just going to put those screws in that uh, that screw in that that shield <clears throat> on the uh, on the right and left sides okay got the screws in we're going to fold this cable back over with the screw that's still in it. It should still be in there. That screw right there should still be there. We're going to fold that thing over, and we're going to plug that back in and screw it back in where it goes on the frame uh, on that on that metal shield here. Uh, mind you, we have put the frame back on. We did a screen replacement on this one. We put that frame you know, back on. That frame should always stay on. If you're just replacing this on a device yourself, you know, the frame would stay on. 
this is important. That little connector needs to be pointed to the right. Okay, that connector will also stay on the the the, uh, the flex cable as you take it off with that screw. And you want to make sure that that thing is is all the way to the right. Right now we have it kind of incorrectly placed, so we're just going to loosen it a little bit, and we're going to move that thing. As you see, we're just we're, we're going to get a little closer. There you go. We're going to shift that connector thing. It's like a silver and black kind of connector. Whoops, we got out of frame for a second. Okay, there we go. And we're going to have it just like that. And there we go. It's aligned directly like that. Take a picture, pause it, and, and make sure yours is like that. Because otherwise, the, the fingerprint activator may not work. Okay, now that we've got all that stuff secured, um, we just got to close the device. This is a, a pretty tricky part because, you know, this cable has to get plugged back into the charge port here in the bottom. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. It was really hard for us to get an angle to show you, but you'll get the drift. Where basically that cable is hanging from the top there, which is from the assembly we just put back together. And now we're aligning it with the input on the charge port, and we're going to plug it in. Uh, the technician that's working on the device now is plugging it with his fingers. He has managed to learn how to do that. Um, you can do that with tweezers. You can do it with a spudger. You can do it with any other kind of... Uh, small components tools. Uh, we're going to get a better shot of that here in a second so you can really see it plugged in. That's a semi better shot right there and I think we're trying to get some good focus so we can get get that get a, get a really good shot of it. Yeah there it is. So that's that thing plugged in directly to the board. Um, and now before we close the device, uh, we're almost done here. We just kind of put that um, silly shield back on that that secures it in place. Um, it's kind of difficult because it's just small and hard to get in there, but, uh, you know, we're going to get it in there. That's the shield right there. So we're bringing it in with some tweezers. Um, you got to make sure that if you see that lip on the shield, it's sort of to the bottom right there uh, of it. That's got to be, that's how it orients. If it's oriented the other way, it won't fit in place correctly. Um, and you got to make sure that uh, that it's like this. See, it's kind of jumping around. It's so small. And, and flimsy, you know, that it likes to kind of jump around. All right, so we've got it like that. Uh, we're going to kind of just place it with some tweezers right over the uh, oh, over the home flex cable connector, and then we're going to try to push it in. There we go. We got, we got a little bit in, and now we push it in completely, and it's good to go. That's, uh, you know, arguably one of the hardest parts of this repair. If you can if you can do the rest of this, then uh, and you can do that, then um, then you're in good shape. Uh, that's it. Everything's good. You you want to test your, your stuff before you close it. We did that. Um, and uh, and you want to do that too. Just turn the device on, test it, make sure the home button works, the touch activation works, uh, the f I mean the uh, the fingerprint sensor works, and then go ahead and proceed to close. Uh, we're just closing the device now, uh, securing the edges, making sure everything's in. We're going to kind of just run our fingers around the edge of the device, and uh, and make sure that uh, that everything fits, and then uh, and then close it. Now, now we've got the device closed, and uh, we're all good to go, folks. So.